This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and do not forget to subscribe to my new uh, Instagram, Jordan Tower News. The other one disappeared, so please go over there and support. I appreciate you guys doing that. Also, don't forget to resubscribe and redo notifications on this channel so that YouTube knows that you're still interested in this content and it will give you notifications because after a while, they stop sending so many notifications to subscribers. So don't ask me why. That's just how it works. All right, let's get right into it. So, unfortunately, a Bay Area rapper, Cuddy Banks, was uh, he passed in San Mateo. Uh, someone, you know, pulled a weapon on him, and it was gone. You know, it's sad man. Uh, he was in San Mateo Saturday, and. Uh, the, he was uh, to the, okay. So the slide single I just checked out. I didn't know who you know. Like the Bay has their own culture and their own artists, and sometimes you don't hear about them for a while. Um, and he had a song out called "Set Trip," and that's a nice flip uh, of a Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre song. <clears throat> but uh, I don't know, man. Shh. Crazy. But according to uh, reports, police were called to a Wells Fargo. Uh, at Hillsdale Mall, where they found him in the parking lot. That's crazy, man. Um, man, seeing Chase Banks before at least. Who knows what this was about? They say it was a targeted incident. Uh, but, you know, <clears throat> it's that time of year, man, where people get extra hungry, man. And uh, I hope that it wasn't something. I mean, I, I don't know what's going on. But it's always sad when somebody loses their life. Uh, someone reacted. uh future dr a that's his name and he says family's hurting right now and he talks about this i mean seemed young man that's sad uh peso peso uh he was picked up by the feds i don't have a lot of details on that i can only assume and you know it's it's always never good to assume but uh if the feds picked him up i'm assuming that it probably had something to do maybe with with fraud or something, I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, details will come out, out on that shortly. Um, next up, G Herbo. Okay, so I don't think it's responsible for a lot of vlogs to be putting the snitch word on G Herbo, uh, just because um, Ami, sorry, Ami and a Hellcat, uh, big YouTuber. Also, he has a lot of cars, he has a lot of success. I think he did something with like. I don't know. He provided a cable somehow. I don't know. Anyways, he has a lot of money. And he's very popular on YouTube for all his cars and everything. And basically, they dated the same girl. I don't know if it was Ari or the girl with G Herbo is, you know, with now. But uh, basically, he's saying, oh, why'd you mention me in that video right after you came out? The feds is watching you. You're making it hot. I already have a Fed case. He's going going off. People took that as him being a snitch. I I think that's G Herbo being in his feelings and getting loose with the mouth. But doesn't mean he, there's nothing to snitch on. You guys weren't doing anything together. Uh, you guys weren't doing fraud together. You know. So it's like that's Ami didn't say that. Blogs are saying that. So I I just want to say that I think that's very irresponsible. Uh, should G Herbo have mentioned his name and been so taunting on that video when he got out the feds that day? No. Okay, he has a huge case against him that's going to cost millions of dollars, man, just to just to prove he's innocent. Um, not smart. Not smart. Uh, next up, we got Boosie. Now, Boosie has a, a song out called Stick in the Car. I like it a lot. But is it responsible to have a challenge? <laughs> right? He has a challenge, stick in the car challenge. Whoever has the best video, man, I'm giving you 2K. Dude, this this challenge could really get people in trouble. Uh, the, the people people are writing below his comments like, "Are you trying to get people in trouble?" It's not smart. I wish Boosie would take that back. I like Boosie a lot, a lot, but this is like an indictment challenge. <laughs> Seriously, it's crazy. Okay, uh, he. People are going to get themselves in trouble because people don't think. People don't think, man. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, ja Rule details how Supergroup with Jay-Z and DMX fell apart. That's pretty easy, but he says, 
we knew what was going on, but it was all kind of like pulling teeth to get it done. Uh, never a conversation. Uh, RB was like, Don King movie. Don King is... I hate it when he goes off on these things. Blah, 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 blah. Jay-Z and DMX, you couldn't get them in the same room together. Basically, it was three guys with huge egos, and they couldn't put their egos aside to make the super group happen. So what? They all became superstars on their own. Uh, it's hard to get superstars like that together to make a super group. Lastly, Boosie believes that they're trying to take Bill Cosby out. I don't know. Bill Cosby... That's a sad story, man. Uh, sad and always around. If Bill Cosby was really like that, he really fooled us. He's a great actor. Uh, but also, Bill Cosby, in my mind, is always somewhat of a hero. I mean, and, and not in the sense what he did to those women. That's uh, aside from that. He, he, he uh, had a hit TV show and everything, and it kind of like bridged black and white people together more to me. I mean, in that sense, I believe he's a hero. Now, if he was doing all that other stuff, come on, bro. Jeez. These, the, those women would have slept with him regardless. He didn't have to slip him a Mickey. I mean, that's crazy, my G. Like, that's crazy. He has something else going on in that head of his because that's, that's beyond crazy. But... You know, they took 30 years to come out the, the woodworks, too. That's weird, you know? The whole case is weird. It's almost like everybody just formed, like, Voltron against him at one point. I mean, the man's almost, like, what is he, 80, 90? I don't know what he is. It's like, come on, man. This guy's like, you're going to come at him now? <laughs> like, come on. Uh, it's weird. Anyways, guys, I don't condone any of that. You can't take advantage of women. That's crazy. Uh... This is George Tower JT News. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you go subscribe to the new YouTube channel, Jordan Tower News. Make sure you resubscribe and redo notifications on this channel. I appreciate you guys so much, and I hope you guys are having a great day getting ready for Christmas tomorrow or Christmas Eve. And, um, yeah, I'm here, man. I'm going to drop some more videos today. <laughs> Check you guys later. Peace.